it's really comforting to know that if you have a disease, medical technology can support you with that disease. However, I don't know about you, but I'd much rather the prevention approach. And with me today is our naturopath resident, Hayden Keyes, welcome. It's a pleasure to be here, Delmay. So Hayden, what is a naturopath? Well, a naturopath, Delmay, is someone who treats a lot of the health problems we have with natural substances instead of pharmaceutical medications. Most of the training these days is degree. I have a degree myself and I did that at the University of Western Sydney and that was a three year degree at the time but that's since been extended out to four years now. A lot of people think of natural therapies as a little bit of a airy-fairy type subject mm -hmm. but we are well trained these days. So what do people come and see you for Hayden? It could be anything from reflux to irritable bowel, trouble losing weight to low energy levels, type 2 diabetes to high cholesterol, low thyroid function, even menopause and prostate problems. So just about everything? Yeah, that's it. We don't see a lot of the really serious things like cancer, mm -hmm. um, but general day-to-day -day things, I see a lot of that in the clinic. And what's your approach to that generally? Okay, what I'm looking to do when I see a person is find out what the underlying cause is. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to deal with the symptoms that are making the person feel unwell and so there's certain herbs and nutrients that I use. So I use vitamins and minerals and herbs that have been around for centuries to help get rid of those, some, some of those symptoms. But I'm also looking to find out, okay, what is that key underlying problem that when I address that, then everything else disappears. So that sounds like a holistic approach. It definitely is, Delmay. So I wanna look at the whole person, what's going on with their diet, what's going on with their lifestyle. And then also, if I see a problem, addressing that with the herbs and the nutrients. So by addressing that underlying cause, you're preventing? Yes, that's right. So a typical conventional approach is just to look at getting rid of the symptoms. But when we get the person better and address all the different aspects, their whole health improves. And so when you're healthy, you no longer have a disease. So what is the cause of disease? Now that's a big question, but in a nutshell, the thing that causes disease is our body gets out of balance. The certain processes stop functioning properly, and that could be due to lack of nutrients, poor diet, stress, or any number of things. But when that happens, the body just doesn't start running properly and gradually degenerates over time. So what can we do about it? So what can we do about it? Simply, we can eat a lot better, mm -hmm. we can reduce our stress levels, and drink plenty of clean, fresh water. There are probably three simple things that we can do. Exercise? Exercise, definitely. So exercise blends in with de-stressing, but also it keeps up our cardiovascular fitness, but it's not the be all and end all. We see a lot of people who may be fit, but they're not necessarily healthy. Ah, why is that? Okay, if you're not eating well, you can still be fit. And we've seen many instances where someone may be a marathon runner and they've fallen over and had a heart attack. That person wasn't necessarily healthy at the same time. Now exercise is vital because it maintains our cardiovascular fitness, but we need to, along with that, eat well, and not have too much other stress in our lifestyle. Sounds to me like it's balance, ultimately. Yeah, definitely. Balance is the key word. Excellent. If you're looking for more information, go to healthyremedies.com.au.